<laughs> Good Monday morning. This is our former lychee hedge. Uh, there are a lot of branches here and a few logs back there. And um, most of the logs actually we moved into a shady place because lychee wood is really gorgeous if you age it for a few years in the shade. Uh, so we wanted to make sure that we save that and hopefully some wood turners will be interested in that or actually it makes a lot of good products. But what's going on here is that I have planted a lot of mango seedlings along in this area. We have some canistel trees and then there's another area that I would like to plant black sapote. And the reason for this is we had the lychee arenose mite, we had it treated, uh, all of these trees were treated, but the mite came back. And if you saw that recent video with Dr. Jonathan Crane, you know that when you have the mite, the proper thing to do is to cut back the, the trees and then when the new growth comes out, you spray it with sulfur. Well, as you can see, there are houses really close to this area. So basically, I did not want overspray to hit the houses. So I have chosen things to plant in this area that do not require spraying and that will produce fruit. So hopefully in a few years we'll have a gorgeous and productive fruit hedge.